about our culture, uh, to be honest with you. I mean, we've really been, you know, focused on developing our culture over the last decade. And um, I think some of the depth that you're starting to see in some of our weight classes is, you know, I would attribute to that culture. I mean, we have a, an extremely um, close knit team and the guys that come in our program, they buy into our core beliefs and our core values and the system we have in place here at Appalachian state. And um, obviously success uh, is contagious. And a lot of guys want to join this program, you know, once they've, they've seen kind of, you know, the direction the program's heading in and, and some of the exciting, um, you know, results and, and things like that we've had and the, and the young men that come through our program kind of, you know, what they're like. And so I think that that, you know, developing that strong culture and that buy-in right from the very start, from our recruits, from our freshmen, all the way through our, our seniors. Um, and I really do believe that, that we have a great system in place for guys to develop. You know, I think we get guys in here that, you know, might not be uh, ready right out of the gate, but, you know, a couple of years in our room and our system, I think that we can get them up to speed and, uh, you know, they can fill in our lineup. And, you know, when there's a, an injury or if, uh, you know, we have a, a senior leave that's a, you know, a strong spot for us, uh, you know, for the most part, we, we have guys that I think are capable that we can plug right in. You know, it's a really big, important thing that we got to teach all our young guys is, you know, set goals set goals that, that you want to reach, you know, not what you think you can reach. Cause you know, you can always put a limit on yourself. So set goals on what you want to reach, not what you think you can reach, you know, cause we all have untapped potential that, you know, we don't know we, things that we can do yet. So you'll surprise yourself when you, when you're given a moment or opportunity, you know, anybody at the national tournament can, can place, can win it. You know, there's, they're all good enough to be there. They're all good enough to beat somebody any given day. And that's the beauty of NCAA wrestling, you know, working out with him a lot um he, he's pretty much become a coach for me too i consider him my fifth coach he helps me out on the mental side and everything like that uh gives me tips and stuff like that so it's cool to get to see him excel and it's it's also cool to see that he gives back to us too like he wants us to succeed as just as much as he gets to so it's really cool we're happy that we kind of have that mindset of like, oh, those guys are really scrappy. They wrestle hard, but we want to be more than that. We want to be, oh, those guys are those guys are legit. Like they're they're the ones that, that they can beat anybody on any day, and that's kind of what we're working towards. No, our team, we're always really good with depth. You know, there's a lot of people in the dark that you don't see that just grind every single day. We got people like like even he, for chance, he was behind Brito, and he came in the lineup, and and he's going to do some amazing things this year. Sean Carter too. He's been in the lineup for a while, but. Uh, I've been behind him, but having those guys, I just want to see them reach their goals. Um, and that's really the common theme with everybody. We want everybody to achieve their goals. And so those people are going to push you in practice so that you can reach those goals. Uh, even if it's not your chance, we know you're going to get a chance. So you just got to be prepared. And ultimately, I think me just keeping my head down, staying focused and uh, working is what led me to having a pretty decent year last year. And our attendance has grown every year since we've been selling uh, tickets and, you know, putting out a good product. I mean, as you know, Jason, that's the most important thing. You know, people will pay to see wrestling uh, meets that are exciting and, and you get quality opponents in varsity gym. And, and I think that's what we've tried to do. I mean, I've, if you look at our schedule, I've got a very challenging schedule. We've got some great home dual meets that our fans can can come to varsity gym and watch. And I think that's what sells season tickets. You know, people want to be excited about a product that you're putting on the mat and, and want to be excited about the opponents that you're bringing to wrestle. Uh, just focusing on my little mistakes that I make because, you know, nobody's perfect. We all make little mistakes. So just trying to correct those. And I got the best coaching staff to help me fix my mistakes. And that was, again, one of the reasons why I wanted to come back to app. You know, Coach Bentley is a tremendous coach. He's always correcting his himself. He's up in his coaching level, you know, every day. And it really motivates me to stay motivated in my training. and. Um, yeah, and I always expect to win. I always expect to be on, on top of the podium. Another reason why I wanted to come back and wrestle my sixth year. That's if the better our conference gets, the better we're going to get, having having better competition and and kind of making it a bigger deal. And, um, I mean, I, I enjoy it. I know the the Southern Conference is getting better by the year, and and I know we, we really take it seriously. I mean, a lot of these teams, we all train hard, and, and a lot of the teams want to win, and that, that makes it really – really important and and I mean it's just fun man it's fun to have competitive duels and to have uh 
kind of that social media stuff going on obviously is from an athlete's perspective we, we don't really focus on that but it's good for the fans and and whatever's good for the fans is good for our, our program most of it was mental um just knowing that I could do it because I've never been out there and you know it's easy to say that you could have done this or that when you're watching from the stands but when you're out there all that pressure and the emotions all the work comes out it's all on you uh it definitely helped me especially with this summer uh, because I got the opportunity to wrestle more consistently rather than wrestling month to month basis as a red shirt or maybe not even being in the lineup and uh, it helps me be more consistent I say that's the main thing is just being consistent being able to get those reps in against other people that aren't in the room every day it helps a lot when John John announced that he was coming back I obviously I'm gonna stay at 157 so me growing into that weight class was a huge goal this summer um, I think I transitioned well into it. I'm, I know that I walk around sometimes around 70, 71, which is way better than what I did last year. I would leave practice most of the time around 52, 53. So I would be wrestling guys that are way bigger than me. So it's nice to be able to be the big guy at the weight now.